and maybe he's been stung by he's, far too many, you know, uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish, yeah. This thing me through my suit. I can't. <laughs> Why do you always do that? <laughs> because you brought up jellyfish. Ain't nobody talking about jellyfish. This thing through my suit. This program is brought to you by Godan's sponsor. Welcome to the show. Let's go. Throw so much information at the jury that they walk into the deliberation room with one overwhelming feeling, doubt. That's how you get away with murder. There's such a large gap between us. Do you not like me or something? Okay. What? Don't make me give you Viola Davis face. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was just... just there. I'm gonna put you in Higgs device. <laughs> that was the first time. Viola first Higgs time. Davis. I know Viola. That I've always. Every time I see Viola Davis, I say, "Put him in the Higgs we device." Need, we need a clip. We need I, a clip. I, oh, every single time, because the first time I ever seen Viola Davis was in Solaris. That was the George first time Clooney. you saw him. Solaris with Joyce Clooney, and like for half of the film, you didn't see, actually see who it was. She just was behind the door. Go away. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I need to talk to you. Go away. And when you finally see her, it's this dark woman. Mm -hmm. In space. It was the first time I see a black woman in space, first of all. Honestly, I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that. Well, that was the first right. time I've seen a black woman in space, deep space, let's say, in a, in a sci-fi movie. I'm like, oh, black people in space. Is a, that's not a horror. <laughs> I know, that's not a horror. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. You know? like, yeah. And I just, that's what drew me, you know? I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. You know, I've never Put him in the next device. But, and every time something happened on that, on that station, <laughs> put it in the Higgs device. Put it in the Higgs device. Put it in the Higgs device. I say we use a Higgs device on him. I don't like that. Put it in the Higgs device. I don't care what it is. I'll put it in the Higgs device. <laughs> so every time I see Marilyn Davis, even in the help, put him in the Higgs device. <laughs> Seriously. So here we are, our first impression show, which is going to be a combined first impression show. Yeah, it's a combined, show. Yeah, combined uh, show. This is our first round of first impressions for the new... Mm -hmm. Most of the stuff that came out this week. This yeah, most week. of the stuff that came out this past week. Mm -hmm. So we start with How to Get Away with Murder, which is the newest Shonda drama, as they, they call Shonda it. Shonda drama? Son they call them Shonda drama. Shonda drama. Let me just start off by saying that I like the show, mm -hmm. and that it's something that I could see myself watching or we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I have two problems. Mm -hmm. My first problem with the show is that everybody on the show who is not Viola Davis is not Viola Davis. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. There's no one to... No one can match her. <laughs> it, it reminds me a lot of the feeling I had with American Horror Story Coven, mm. With Jessica and Angela, and then a bunch... And a bunch of other chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these other chicks? <laughs> the, the, ain't nobody care about you. There is a huge... There's a huge power differential. You can, you can see... <laughs> There's over 9,000! The levels of, of acting yeah. cheers all of a sudden very clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's just something about when you take these, these powerhouse women... And you put them on the screens with people who are not powerhouses. They're more like matchsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Viola Davis could and should play every role in that show. <laughs> <laughs> she's a student and she's a teacher she and just, she's a lawyer just, and she's on the stand crying. And right, exactly. <laughs> Everybody a, should just be her. And then the show would be perfect. You know, wait, wait, where's my new? There it is. <laughs> I could see it too. She'd be like, so, where were you when you were supposed to be at the police station? You know. <laughs> I was with you. And she runs over. <laughs> I you, was over You weren't with and I would I would <laughs> let her get away with that. I would let her run, run and sit run, down. Run, run, sit down. Do her changed. quick changes on camera and I would still think the show was superior. <laughs> Honestly, I just it's so jarring to me. And I'm not saying everybody in the show sucks. No. I'm just saying that there's such a clear, distinct noticeable Uh, come on. Okay, when I mean she comes on the screen, she looks like she already eaten two 
two Olivia humans. Pope's. Right. She, she's eating two Olivia Pope's and chase it with some bourbon, you know. And then she shows up. And now she shows up and she's ready, you know, and everyone else is like, it just you know? it looks it looks mm. strange. Mm. And and this is partly where you have these these A list well, yeah. actors yeah. going to television. Yeah. If you don't have people who can share the space with them, mm -hmm. you I can tell. It and it feels funny. I'm like, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Are you talking to Viola Davis? <laughs> is Viola Davis touching you? <laughs> You don't deserve to be touched by, but what are you, 12? You know. Seriously? Uh, I think, you know, his his degree from acting school, the ink is still drying. <laughs> and he's standing there getting molested by Viola Davis. And you know he doesn't know this what to is, do. This is his casting couch. <laughs> Let's see if you're good for the role. Stand You here. wet yourself, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Actually, you wet yourself, you're perfect. Because that's what you should be doing when Viola Davis is standing that close no, to Viola you. Davis is going to touch you. Oh, he already wet himself. <laughs> he's perfect. Yeah, Leave she, him. She hasn't even touched him yet. He's already, he's already peeing himself. Yeah. My second problem with the show is that comparatively mm. to everything else that's on television, mm -hmm. the show feels really contrived yes but that's okay because mm -hmm. mysteries have to be they have contrived. to be contrived. they have to be set up yes the problem is we're so used to shows that set you up with a specific formula mm -hmm. that now we feel like this is an old cliche formula mm -hmm. but the thing is mysteries are supposed to be set ups yes procedurals are not supposed to be set ups no they're not supposed to be that formulaic Mysteries have a formula, mm -hmm. and if you do them correctly, yes. no matter how you know common the formula is, it's still it's good. It's still good, right? So when I watch this, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, now now it's just gonna be waiting mm -hmm. and more waiting. And it's watching it play out, and that's okay. The problem mm -hmm. is that people use this formula for all serial TV. I know, yeah. and that's and why you feel played, like this is out. just another right. one. But it's supposed but to it's be a like this. It's a whodunit. It's a whodunit, right? You're supposed to look around and watch people and, and suspect people. But we already and watch know whodunit out. in the mm -hmm. case of the murder, so mm -hmm. then it just is waiting, 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 right. waiting. So I understand that little bit of frustration, and I'm willing to give that to you. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, I'm. I think it's be, it'll be I'm worth open the ride. enough to understand that murders and mystery, murder mysteries and whodunits yeah. are supposed to be done this way. Mm -hmm. It, it's not new, no, but everybody took that formula for other kinds of television, right. and that's why it seems like it's not fresh or that it's cliche to you. And it might be worth it uh, <laughs> to oh, watch. It'll to absolutely watch, be to, worth to watch it. Viola Davis <laughs> I don't, throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I think it'll be worth it. I, <laughs> I, already, wouldn't have seen I, already, it. I already tweeted that <laughs> Viola Davis <laughs> could sit and stare at the camera like this. I grilled Gina the minute we got this case. She chose not to tell me this because well, that's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> but honestly, the show could have no dialogue and she could just stand there. Or she could just write various things on the chalkboard <laughs> yeah. every episode. <laughs> You're still watching this. <laughs> all these students are crap. That's right? right, they're all crap. I said that and I Someone wrote it down. Someone bring me a hamburger. <laughs> With hamburger. cheese. <laughs> How to order a hamburger. Exactly. It, that, she could just write something new on the chalkboard, and then that would be the whole show. <laughs> and walk out of the classroom. And I got a, I've got a case to do. You and, guys figure that out. And somebody would still give her a friggin' Emmy. Honestly. For writing on the blackboard, <gasps> Viola Davis. Um, but in terms of, of, of telling a, a multi-layered story that's at, out of time sync, too, because yeah. we have to catch up to where they are as far as the the husband being the three murdered. month period the three yeah. month period you know so so we still have three months to kind of catch up to what we started mm -hmm. you know and and i like how they dropped those hints or they just dropped they the, you know the, the the missing girl the missing girl the, you know every other scene there was something about that missing girl in that and it became closer to like to, even like just a the, simple poster that yeah a simple poster by, that he yeah, walks yeah. by you know and then like you know the the you know the our wes's uh, neighbor, yeah. Okay, being involved with 
the, her then boyfriend or what right. you know what I mean like you, it, it built up to the point where at the end of the episode it's setting you up for the next mm -hmm. the next thing. the next thing you know the next and, and yeah and it's already but it's already been kind of dropped oh, oh 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 you know so I think that's that is a good it's, yes it might be contrived but it's it is a good way of keeping you engaged and going oh, okay now I know tuning in yeah Right now, I know what's going, what's what, what I'm gonna get next week, kind of a thing, or what's being set up. Not just waiting around, but you know. They give you some setup. You now, know what? Now we know what yeah. we're getting into next week, and, we, and maybe we'll get some more reveal about three months later, as far as how they're covering up this this body or mm -hmm. whatever. You know. One thing I find fascinating about the show that normally turns me off a great deal, mm -hmm. I don't like any of the characters. Yeah, no, me neither. I, I, I. I I don't like it any said, single one. They, they said Shonda Rhimes and Viola Davis, and I was like, sold! Right, like, I, don't, I don't need anything else. I'm like, sold! But like, normally, I didn't, if I can't, you know, if I can't but connect I don't like to, any of it, no, me If neither. I can't connect to any mm -mm. of the characters, mm -mm. generally that's a, a severe turnoff for me. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like them. any of the characters. I, I like them. Viola Davis. Yeah. It's the Haven effect. Yeah. I don't like Haven. I don't like any of the characters. I can't stand the fact that that show is even on television. I watch it because Emily Rose is extraordinary. Yeah. That is the only reason yep. I watch the show. Yep, yep. The same is with this. I hate all the characters. I don't like any of them. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of their acting. I don't like their characters as written. I think they're boring. I think they're typical. I think they're stupid. I think they're obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Including... Annalise, right? Mm -hmm. But I like Viola Davis, and mm -hmm. therefore I will watch her again stare at the screen mm -hmm. or take a dump on a desk. Yeah, really. And Who I'll, cares? I'll still watch. Just watch her. <laughs> I, mean, I got my skirt, skirt so I can take a shit on your desk. <laughs> How to take a shit on How your desk. How to take a shit on your desk. <laughs>
you know, trying to retell a story or whatever. Sure, and I think sure. this does a really good job of doing it. Honestly, it really does. Um, I, I really don't have any problems with what they're doing. I mean, it's it's more about the, the, the city of Gotham and the characters in it right. than it is about any one particular person, you right. know. And in order to tell a story about Gotham, they have to kind of retell some things and move some things around, which yeah. I understand. I mm -hmm. think it's, but I think what they did was fine. I don't think that there's like, oh, sacrilege, you can't do that, and you can't do this. And but that's what that's I'm saying. What, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, no, that that hasn't, it, on a, yes, they do a lot of name dropping, and if you're familiar with the characters, you should say, oh, okay, I know who, I know who that mm -hmm. is, or I know mm -hmm. who that will be, or I know who, right. who that has the potential of being, you know. So, but you shouldn't, that shouldn't distract from what the, the, the story they're trying to tell. But the problem is know? fans are incapable of They're incapable of separ separating right. those things. They can't. And that's yeah, the problem with the show. And the know? show is either going to become fan dictated. Fan, I know, I know. Or it's simply not going to I think it's I think it's I think it's perfect the way it is. I mean, it is. as far it as is the subject the way as far as the subject matter is concerned and me coming from comic books, mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. And as, I, and as a non-comic book person, right. I also think it's perfect. You know, and I and I and I the, the actor that plays uh, uh, um, um, Bullock Mm -hmm. Perfectly cast, you know. I like that actor anyway. Yeah. Um, I, I liked him in that show that he had on Fox a little while ago. I got canceled or whatever, but where I, I like him. I like mm -hmm. him as an actor, and I and I'm glad that I, when he's when, I, when the paper came down, I'm like, perfect. I love it. Yeah. He's Bullock. I, I don't before he was even introduced, I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. You know. So you know, and I but I think all the casting choices mm -hmm. for everybody, psh, perfect. <coughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, the lighting. That's what I mean. I, That's what I like about the it. The lighting. The noir. The, the, the lighting. The, the, oh, yeah. my God. The, I, I haven't seen a show this well lit. I mean, when they went to that little diner or whatever, I was just like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Look at the colors. Look at the... Wah, 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 wah. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how much of that is on set lighting, how much of that they didn't post or whatever, but it looks it like it's a little a half, of a, half and half, maybe. Mm -hmm. But whoever whoever was doing the lighting direction, there's was some genius. treatment going on. There is some I, treatment. I can tell. There is some That's, treatment, yeah. but some but but a lot of it you have to do on set as well to get it to get it just right. You mm -hmm. can't save the whole thing, you know. Otherwise, you're gonna just put everyone in a green screen, right? You know. But and it didn't have that green screen feel, but at the same time, the lighting was just gorgeous. Like yes. the, the, it was well saturated. The, the, the police station when you got the into the police, police station, station was really I was like, wow. wild. You know the diner. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was really. You know, like they were sets. They look like sets, and that's a good thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Because yeah. Because it, it just gives you that more of that stage play feel mm -hmm. to let the characters do what they what they need to do. You know, as far as being able to play the part and be the part and and, right. and be in a set. You know, an actual set that's lit. You know, that has people and 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 the, the paints peeling and everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. That that looks. Right, and you know? that's the stuff that I'm saying. The fans, yeah. AKA the crazy people, yeah, 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 don't know how to appreciate. Right, what they, they... they're interested in is only their expected content. They're not interested right. in what the show is actually presenting mm -hmm. in the way that it's being presented. Right, you don't even know what you're looking at. You're just waiting to see what you expect. Right. And that's where you go wrong with watching media. Yeah. And you've got to take all that crap that you have in your head, mm -hmm. all of those expectations, and throw them out and watch it fresh. Yes. And see that epic lighting mm -hmm. and the way that they're shooting these scenes. That it, Just mm -hmm. that alley in and of itself oh, yeah. is a beautiful set piece. Oh, my God. Okay, and the way that that is lit, the way that it's dark and about. light at the same yeah. time. The, the mood, that, that noir feel is mm -hmm. so strong. Even the, the, the costuming and mm -hmm. everything, okay? It's now, but it's not it's now. It's not now. It's, the cars are dated. Yes, you know? it's amazing. Yeah. You, that's the stuff that you need to be looking at. Mm -hmm. Not waiting for, well, when am I going to see blah, 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 or no, that doesn't look like such and such. It, it reminds me a lot of what they did when, when <laughs> I remember this again, I, I remember getting up on Saturday mornings or whatever to watch this, but when Batman the Animated Series came out, and uh -huh. the Warner Brothers really, you know, the, the, it was a kind of a reimagining or whatever of Batman where they did the same thing. You know, Gotham was, you know, the Art Deco feel and yeah. the dated cars and stuff like that. But it was still, very, it was also very modern, you know, mm -hmm. like the Batmobile and the, the gadgets and stuff like that. So there was, a, there what they did there, they're kind of doing here as well. I agree. And yeah. they're doing it to great effect. It is. It, it's the same thing. And, 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 and 
It doesn't matter as long as you buy it, and I buy it. I, I buy, buy it. that this city production is a, value. Yeah, I buy that this city is a real city. This Gotham is a real yep. place, real breathing city with with citizens and cops and 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 and, and thugs and mm -hmm. you know whatever. Okay, that I get it. I'm in it. Let's go. You yeah, know? I agree. You know, and I like that. Yes, yeah, so in the pilot episode, they had the name drop or whatever. You know, you had this chick and whatever. But that none of aside, that really matters. none yeah. of that really matters. That aside, though. You know, I like how they put because 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 the, the what I'm thinking when I when I heard that they were making a story about Gotham, I'm like, okay, this is going to be about Commissioner Gordon, you know, mm -hmm. and about his character, Doesn't it about, have to be? about about his rise to yeah. to power, let's say, or his fight, you know. He with, has to be because he's the central. He, he's, so I'm he's, like, he's involved in. So they need everything. to cast a good Jim Gordon, <laughs> and they need to cast a good. And I didn't even think they were going to put Bullock in here because he's a kind of a polarizing character, yeah. you know, and in, in, even in fandom, but. Um, I'm I'm really glad where they where they 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 took a little bit of everything. You know, mm -hmm. like if you actually looked it up and, and and looked at all the different novels and graphic novels and different writers and different mm -hmm. times, because certain writers added things and you know yeah. changed things in the mythos or whatever over because you fans need to give it a break because this is like fifty years of of stuff. But that's and also you can't what expect the show to 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 try to you know right, take but, fifty years of but, stuff. But that's and, also my point. You know, who cares? Right. Okay. None of that matters here. That's the thing. Right. If it mattered that much, the show wouldn't be good. Right. If the show was completely dependent upon right. how you are supposed to interpret 50 years of information and perspectives yeah. from multiple from authors, multiple authors and stuff, no. then the show wouldn't work no at way. all. There's it would no be impossible way. to be done. There's That's no what way. I'm saying. If the show can stand on its own, mm -hmm. if you could show it to people who have no idea what they're looking at, mm -hmm. and, and who it's still, this person is, who it's this still person compelling, is, right. mm -hmm. that's a show that works. And that's where I'm begging the fans to go to away. To lay off. Go yeah. away. Lay off. It's, it's, it's really not, it's not for you. No, it's not. Okay? It's, you have your 50 years of lore and whatever mm -hmm. else you want to debate about at your cons. Mm -hmm. Stay out of the noir. Right. Stay out of the drama. Stay out of epic this a, productions. This is a different medium. And, and just leave allow... it alone. Right. I don't give a crap about Gotham. I really don't. What I like about it is what all we've said. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful production. Beautiful. And and that is what matters. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who's it's in it, just gorgeous who the characters, at. it's beautiful to it's look beautiful at. It's beautiful to look at. It's, just... it's wonderfully acted and it's wonderfully written. Mm -hmm. And the characters, yes, are quite rich. Mm -hmm. But they could be anyone. Mm -hmm. Let them be anybody mm -hmm. and just watch the damn show and appreciate how really beautiful it is. And bow down to Jada's hair. <laughs> bow down to Fish Mooney. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Boy! Sorry. If you let this hair go frizzy, you will be. I'd say he starts running in three, two, one. I got this! Another NCIS. Another one. You know what? I'm going to petition to have NCIS Hartford. <laughs> Hartford! I don't know if that's going to be very interesting. NCIS Bloomfield. Bloomfield. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. CSI, NCIS, and 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 Law and Order. And I think I think technically NCIS is a spinoff of Law and Order. Oh God! It's a spin. No, you know what it is. NCIS, and I actually looked this up. Now that I'm thinking about it, NCIS, the 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 franchise, yeah, is actually a spinoff of a spinoff of Law and Order. Because remember, Law and Order started with, and then they started Jag. Oh my God! Yes, Jag. And then Jag is, spun off NCIS, NCIS, and then we have the NCIS franchise. But Jag never. Jag went away. I'm glad that Jag went away. So you, we can thank Law and Order for this shit. <laughs> because that was, and in between all of that was CSI. They need to do a Marvel team up between CSI no, and NCIS. No, they don't. Don't say that. <laughs> that would be an epic team up. Shh, don't listen to him. I get that New Orleans is the hot spot of sure. of whatever now, and and you know. I don't know that anyone is actually filming in New Orleans. I don't know. So I don't know that any money is going anywhere. Mm. But I think they're filming in backlots and calling it New Orleans. 
It's like Rush taking place in L.A. and filming in Vancouver. It's... <laughs> uh, I don't know if it, it if, if it's filmed anywhere near New Orleans, but I, I get that New Orleans is the hot uh, spot. spot topic, and and I can appreciate that. There's a lot of you know good stuff history and to, culture to and really make people aware of and show and display. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Let me tell you what I do like about NCIS Nolans. <laughs> I go. like. Uh, Count Bacula, and yeah, Pounder. <laughs> so those two, and I'm not really a Count Bacula fan. I really generally don't care for him. However, now that he's old mm -hmm. and gray, mm -hmm. he's developed his own gravitas, mm -hmm. and I like that presence that he has now very much. Mm -hmm. And I think it works with Sheesh. Yes, I like their. I, I really like the two of them together mm -hmm. and that chemistry. Which one's he in? Top right. You want me to open it up for you? You think he'll reanimate and explain what the hell he was up to? No. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you who I don't like. <laughs> Fish mouth. <laughs> Fish mouth. Lucas Black. Him. And that completely forgettable female. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she's not. I don't even remember what her face looks like. She looks like she's every of, woman. She's a piece of cardboard. <laughs> she she is sorry. a piece she's of a, cardboard. She's a cardboard cutout. I, 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 I hate to say that, but it's kind of like, what's his, what's his name? Tommy and, and Arrow, any face? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's just, she's, she's some just generic, we just need generic she, actress number three. Honestly, we do. You know? And, we just need and any just, woman. Just drop her in. <laughs> you can replace her in the next episode, I wouldn't even care. <laughs> she, she we wouldn't know, she could be she a could different be, actress She could be transferred. I know, she could be transferred, someone else comes in. Wasn't she blonde last week? I don't uh, remember. I, honestly. <laughs> Lucas Look, at least has a bit of a Lucas Lucas you know, is memorable yes. because he talks <laughs> like that. <laughs> His accent is real thick. And I, it works and look, for I certain love, characters. I love a good accent. His accent is thick. I and especially it's like accents where I can't understand But I can't understand a word. I know. I can't I, understand a word. I can, I can appreciate those. I can appreciate a good accent. <laughs> mm. But there is something about how deep. Yeah. I'm waiting for Jambalaya to come flying out of his mouth at any time. When come he on. talks, there are crawdads and there are there are you know muscles and things coming out and little shrimp heads and beams are coming out of him when he speaks. And I don't even I don't know that that should be happening. I don't like Lucas Black. I'm sorry. Aww. And I get Poor that Lucas he's kind of cute and adorable cute. And, his, cute. and his accent and is cute and adorable. Cute and, and it is in in small doses. But, but man, he has to, you, you can see him working hard enunciating, man. Plus his tongue is bigger than his whole head. He has to really enunciate his There word. is some things happening down there that, and so that, that, that he mouth. can make sure that you, you can understand You can really him. understand what he's saying. You know, I can help you find an apartment. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes, he has Just to. Just after we I, It's, it's amazing the, the, the work that he's putting into his mouth, man. If you have to work that Woo! hard, don't speak. Just sign language. Sign language is important. <laughs> With a southern accent. Right, sign with a southern accent. <laughs> I like Count Blackula, Bacula, mm -hmm. and Cheech. Yes, I, I instantly like like them and like their characters. I, oh, I always and, kind and of I like will, her. and to the point where I, I I will sit and watch the show just. To I watch will them. sit and watch the show as well, just, just to watch as them. long as there's English subtitles <laughs> for Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always acting against a cardboard cutout. So, what you think about your apartment? I know. I I'm sorry. It needs work. <laughs> yeah, right. <Rachel. laughs> and it's just dubbed over. <laughs> what does your apartment say about you? <laughs> I have no personality. Yeah, no. She, if you took her and you put her on How to Get Away with Murder, she'd fit right in with everybody else. <laughs> She's a block of wood. I certainly <laughs> think so. <laughs>
totally love women in power positions. I'm completely attracted to your masculine energy. Tell me what to say. I actually hadn't heard any information about this. I, mm -mm. Only, I only just, I, it was on the schedule that it was new. Yeah. But I hadn't heard anything I saw about one it. screenshot with Taylor Looney and it said, Madam Secretary, I'm like, ooh. Oh, I didn't, I saw I, it was like a commercial or something yeah, that I saw. That's, that's all I saw. I know right. that she's been around. No. I don't watch, it, contrary to popular belief, I don't actually watch a whole heck of a lot of TV. So I don't know if she's been on like a TV show lately. Um, but I'm saying I haven't seen her in a long time. When I say I haven't seen her in a long time, people go, well, she's been here and here. Uh, I yeah, don't I, care. I haven't, I'm I saying haven't I seen have her. not seen her. I haven't seen her. Honestly, I have not seen her. Don't say since Bad Boys. No. She was a she was everywhere for a little while. She yes. was in Bad Boys. She was. She was in what was that? It was either Deep Impact or the other other movie. One of the impacts. One of the one of the asteroid movies. I remember that. Two seconds to impact. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was, <laughs> that was War Games. One minute and thirty seconds to impact. You can't just you pull that out. That's like me pulling out Queen Latifah. <laughs> if you can do it, I can. Do okay, it. fine. She was in. Well, when I which, say which kind of makes sense. Yes. Here, when I say I haven't seen know. her in a while. Yeah. I mean, I have not seen her on TV mm -mm. for yeah, a while. Yeah, no, for a while. So yeah. when I saw her on TV, I felt like it was refreshed. Uh -huh. Like for me, I was like, it is nice to see someone that I have not seen mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her face for a while yeah. at all. So again, all of you people who have been following her and know what she's doing, that's mm -hmm. different. Right. I'm saying for me, I haven't seen her I, face I, for a I, long time. I've, I see her as a movie actress, not right. as a TV so actress. So seeing her, I was like, oh, the show is unremarkable. Right. I wouldn't even be talking about it except for the fact that I haven't seen her in a while and therefore her face is refreshing to me. Mm -hmm. I don't think the character is interesting. I don't think the show is interesting. I don't think the character is new. I don't think the show is new. I don't think there's anything about this show that makes it anything other than something to watch while I'm on the elliptical. <laughs> but I haven't seen her in a while, so I feel like I'm getting something slightly different sure. than what is on TV. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing someone that I have seen on every other show or mm -hmm. is now just in a different role. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm seeing a fresh face and therefore I have a new kind of acting perspective to watch. Mm -hmm. And Taya could, could blend into the wallpaper in her own way, but she also has a very specific presence. Yes, she does. And so what I'm saying is her presence is refreshing to me because I haven't seen it on TV. I've seen everybody else on TV in a million different shows, or guest starring or whatever mm. on other shows. And I feel like I see the same people every day. It's like watching Asian drama. I just saw you yesterday in this. <laughs> I just saw you last right. week in this. You know. And it's fun. And there are certain actors that just hop around from show to show. Right. Like, what the hell are you doing on this show too? So that's what I mean. I mean, to me, it's refreshing. Mm. Because she's not someone She's that not I've someone seen. who hops around and is right. always. And yeah. I could be like, oh, okay, this Constantly is, this is, this is good. Mm. I don't even know that I even like the show. Mm. Um, I watched it. And then I turned it off. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like something that I that lingered on me, mm -mm. except that feeling of it's nice to see her. And, and it's, it's nice, nice to see, see it's something BB. new. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. Again, this is like ooh. I, I <laughs> Any reason to have you on TV up there? <laughs> I don't get the impression that they're going to give her much to do mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. You know, the pilot was completely mm -hmm. predictable and uninteresting, despite again the fact that it's based on like a real person. I'm not talking about the real person i'm just mm. saying i don't find it interesting i'm saying we've seen shows like this and ideas we're gonna get like we're, just, we're just gonna get keep getting more shows like this if yes. anything this this seems to be the olivia pope effect which we kind of called back when scandal first we back. did call we this, called this a long time ago we called this what year almost if, two years if ago Taylor was black then seriously i, I, I mean it it's, it's getting kind of ridiculous that we're getting these one woman shows let's say mm -hmm. you know one woman and i'm all for political one woman shows charged that are not like sure Dangerous women, or whatever that shit Right, was, that are not whatever. like, you know, just. <laughs> you can't, vagina you know, shows. Vagina shows. I like that. I, I want my women in suits. Yes. With the vaginas covered up. <laughs> I, I don't think the show is interesting, okay? It's about as interesting as intelligence. Yeah, exactly. 
And again, that was a show I watched on the elliptical so that I wasn't looking at the timer. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, I was watching whatever it is. So look, it, he's going inside of his brain again. Right, this is so interesting. <laughs> Ain't nobody care. So it was entertaining, and I didn't fall asleep. And no. that's really the, the only thing I can say about the show. I didn't fall asleep while watching it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't immediately turn it off like Mysteries of Laura. Or forever. Yeah, I, I told I totally okay. turned that off. So I so that's where I can say that it's it's not anything that I we're gonna talk about, but I didn't think that it was a terrible show. Mm -mm. So for people who will watch anything, I'm sure this watch will be it. on your on your radar. And if you're but a fan I can't, of Taylor Leone, watch yeah, it. Yeah, oh absolutely, because watch it. maybe you haven't seen her in a while like There's me. Plenty of her nests is in there. You know. Absolutely, <laughs> but I did. I did like. I did not like that one line that, she, that when she was talking to, to her husband, to to, to Tim Daly. Mm -hmm. You know, where it's just like you know, you are you sure it's okay? You like, took this job, blah blah. blah. I actually liked like, that scene. I did like that scene. It's like, is it my masculine energy? <laughs> I happen to like your masculine. I happen like, like your, tell me, tell, tell me, me what, what to say. say. <laughs> I actually really like. I, that. Liked, I did. I like that scene. I, I, liked, I did I like them. them. You know. Yeah, I like their that. relationship. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. their relationship a lot. And I like that there's like a little really bit of like intrigue there yeah. with the, sure. you know, her friend who's paranoid and not paranoid. Mm. But I kind of, again, that was very predictable. Um, and I, I do like that it's guy like who plays the asshole chief of staff. Mm -hmm. um, I like that actor. Mm -hmm. He always plays the same kind of guy. Yeah, you don't want to be know, yeah. on, the, <laughs> exactly. on the wrong, uh, where are you? Yeah, he never <laughs> can I get can... <laughs> glasses fixed. Well, are you, you are, don't want to be on the wrong side of me because like, I don't. I can't actually because see because I'm gonna kick your ass once I see where you are. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna hire someone to kick your ass. Where's my phone? <laughs> you know. What do I have to do to prove to you Audrey's gone? There's nothing you can do. She is still in there, and she loves me. Our love is stronger than anything that you and William could ever... I have two things to say about Haven, and I actually already talked about them, so we don't have to discuss Haven. Okay. <laughs> You're done already? <laughs> Here, here's what I'll say about Haven. Okay. Every time I tweet about Haven, I say, why am I still watching this show? Mm -hmm. I can tell you why I'm still watching this show. Everybody knows the answer to this question. much do I love your trouble? Musket falls, bullets. I think one of your ancestors actually took a cannonball right in the chest. Look, I tweeted yesterday that if I was one of those like millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, mm -hmm. I would buy the entire sci-fi network. <laughs> <laughs> Just to cancel Haven. <laughs> I would then immediately replace everybody on the board that likes Haven. <laughs> cancel Haven. <laughs> I would take Emily Rose and lock her up in my basement <sighs> until I found people to make the perfect Western film. <laughs> Thank you. And yes. then I would only release her to let her play in that. <laughs> I don't... Every time she opens her mouth on the show, I feel like I want to cry. Why are you doing this? Stop. I know. I know I there's into nothing this... else for you to do right I, now. I know. I started watching it and I'm like, there's no way this is going to be it. Oh, this is, she's making this interesting now. I got to watch this. <laughs> She's selling it. Why is she selling you know, this? You know, you know who Mara is? Mara is the personality of Emily Rose, who doesn't want to be on Haven. <laughs> because if you notice, she just walks around shooting everybody in the yeah, face. Yeah, she does. This is how she feels about Haven. Stabbing I feel this is a subconscious, with... shut up, shut up, shut, shut up. up. Shut up, shut up, you Look, shut up too. Please, please stop the show. 
if you th those of you that make all those petitions to bring back the show make a petition to get her off the show yes. if you want to keep haven then keep it if you want to keep moonface and and that gaunt dude and <laughs> everyone else then you can have them give us emily exactly. rose exactly give the, us uh, free emily rose that's what free emily rose free emily rose free, free emily rose, rose. She's better than the show. And when you're better... In spite of Haven, right. she when has you're, When you're talent. better than the show, you're only doing a disservice to yourself <laughs> by staying on it. I know you need to get paid. Get paid. Because it can't possibly take that much effort for you to deliver those lines on Haven. Okay? But still, we all know you want better. <laughs> we want better for you. Yes. I will pay someone to give you something to get you off of Haven. Mm -hmm. Haven is, is like, there's three things on your resume right now. And Haven is the longest piece. Yeah, really Been is. on Haven from blah, blah, blah to yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Did Lifetime movie. Yeah. You don't do Lifetime movies while you're still in the middle of your career. <laughs> you do them at the end for extra Christmas cash. to survive. I want you to know, Lieutenant, I never stop fighting. And none of that recorded. Wonderful. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Home of oh. people who just remain exactly the same as they are, mm. episode to episode, mm -hmm. and season to season. It's called consistency. Sleepy it's Hollow is the thing. most consistent show on television. I can say it's the most consistent show on television because all of the other shows that came before it have either been canceled <laughs> or have changed so drastically you no longer recognize them. Correct. Sleepy Hollow is going to be one of those shows where I'm going to wait till season three, and then at some point... In either the end of season three or season four, the show is going to become shit. Mm -hmm. And I know this because that's the curse of really good shows. Mm -hmm. They go at least three seasons. Like, first season, it's like, we don't know. This is good. Mm -hmm. Second season, it's like, everybody liked it. Mm -hmm. Either let's kind of keep it the same so mm -hmm. that we don't lose that audience and see where it goes. And then third season, there's this overconfidence. <laughs> and there's this level of, we can do whatever we want. Oh, yeah. And then they turn it into garbage. So I don't expect second season to be any different from the first, except to be improved upon mm -hmm. as far as, let's say, a little bit more money. They got some more money. The cameras are different. Oh, God, You yes. can tell the I, cameras yes, are different. Yes, I could tell that right at the mm. beginning. But, like... That's some crisp shit. I don't Whoa. think they're going to do anything to hairs. change the, what's working well. Mm -hmm. But when that confidence builds up and things start changing hands and somebody starts demanding X, Y, and Z, the show's going to go to crap. And then I'm going to stop watching it immediately. Same with Teen Wolf. Mm -hmm. Show goes to crap. I'm like, I don't care about you mm -hmm. anymore. I'm not... I, I'm going to give you my loyalty as long as you remain of high quality and of high integrity. Mm -hmm. Which I believe Sleepy Hollow definitely is. Mm -hmm. And I like that it does not try to become something more or less. It has a vision and it's stuck with the vision and it's still sticking with it mm -hmm. even in season two. Mm -hmm. When you mess that mm -hmm. up, I'm gonna be pissed. Gonna be, yes, you know the, the what other the other thing that's you gonna mess know it up. what they're gonna do to mess it up. Yeah. Everybody knows what they're gonna do to mess it up, and yeah. when that happens, I'm gonna stop watching the show. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be, be that good. simple. Yeah, as soon as soon there's as a do. little moment of of Miss Mills. <laughs> Well, that's gonna be it. it. The channel, the channel is gonna be yep. changed. Just our hand is on the knob right now. It is on the knob. As soon as he says it, we're gonna turn to the channel. As soon as he says it, just I'm waiting. <laughs> you just have to look at her. Just, just the, you better keep that fist bump. Exactly. Because that's all that's you get. That's as close as that's you as two close as you need getting. to be getting. Okay. That's it. Seriously. We don't, need, we don't need any of this other stuff. No. Please no. Yeah, it is Please on the no. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him. And then, you see, Miss. <laughs> 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 I'm already half clicked. No, <laughs> I'm half clicked onto the next. You remember knobs? Mm. <laughs> oh, my hand is on that knob. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. I believe he, no, was saying, I agree. he was saying Mississippi. You turned it to Yeah, him. exactly. Oh, it turned no. to me. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so you see Whispers Ichabod? It's all over. That's it. <laughs> it's all over. No. 